We're coming to the end of our Lent series, and the theme is leaning back. Although ironically today the theme is, no, the theme is leaning in. Ironically today the theme is leaning back. Lean back. Last week I sat down to watch with my family the Oscars. I didn't catch it from the beginning, but I was somewhere in the sort of closer to the beginning than the end. Of all the special award programs that honor beyond good movies and the roles and all the people that play a part in the movie coming to fruition, I really like the Oscars. I look forward to watching them, to seeing the movies that are nominated, to seeing who gets selected. Like many of you, I even find myself while watching the Oscars, maybe jotting down a few movies that I miss, that I might want to see, that kind of a little bit spark my interest. But often I miss the comedy. I miss the music, the entertainment provided. I never really get what's kind of happening. The joke kind of goes over my head. I'm not that good when it comes to having a sense of humor sometimes. And so I just assumed when Chris Rock made a joke about Jada's hair and Will Smith walked up that that was, that was another part of the Oscars. And Chris played it off so well, I thought, oh, this is just another joke that kind of miss me. I was working with my remote trying to hear at the same time and it just seemed really to go over my head. But an hour later you can count on your girlfriend called me and said did you see that? Did I see what? What did I miss? And then later the news began to flood us over the internet with what really happened. And this week every social media outlet that I am has gone overboard reporting on this incident. For sure, Chris Rock's joke about Jada's hair after her own confession about struggling with hair loss was not funny to me, not funny to a whole lot of people, nor was Will Smith's reaction to that comedy. But the opinions, the opinions, the opinions. Cheryl Lindsay says the impulse to control or condemn other choices in comparison to our own is pervasive. She also says that so often the overreach occurs without connection, relationship, or even conversation. In the biblical text today are four characters, Lazarus, Martha, Judas, and Jesus. While they and perhaps others are at the table eating, a fifth character appears, Mary, taking perfume that scholars report was worth more than a year's wages and starts to cover Jesus' feet. Perfume that is worth more than a whole year of wages? This perfume is so expensive, the smell fills the whole house. She used her own hair to wipe his feet. And Judas has an opinion. And I am sure if we were there, United Church of Hyde Park, we, we'd have an opinion too. You couldn't find a cheaper bottle of perfume? Since You've obviously held it for a while. You couldn't find a Black Friday sale. You just wasted a year's worth of wages on one moment. Do you know what we could have done with that money? Do you know how many things we could have done with a year worth of wages? I know United, we really can feel this at this moment. What were you thinking? Bad decision-making process. Opinions, opinions. Opinions about Mary's choice to use an expensive bottle of perfume on Jesus' feet. Opinions are pervasive. You don't even have to ask for them anymore. People just give them up. (laughs) Opinions. For this Lent series, I have been encouraging us to lean in. That through these uncertain times that we are in, what is required of us is to lean in. To lean into our faith to lean into God's spirit, to lean into Jesus' life laid before us these 40 days, to lean into the voice of God, to lean in to deepening and strengthening our relationship with God, to lean into this journey that we're on that does end up at the doorsteps of death, to lean into possibility and wonder and hope. But today, In this last sermon of the Lent series, I'm saying something equally important, that sometimes it's important for us to lean back, to pause, 
to suspend judgment, to hold on to our opinions, to pray, to step back. I use the door analogy to talk about leaning in when talking about our fire door between this church and the annex next door. That's one big door if you've ever been through it. That's one big heavy door. But I was also at another door watching this human continue to lean in with no results. When someone leaned in and encouraged the person to pull, thereby leaning back, taking some steps back so that the person could pull the door open. You see, some doors do require us to lean in, but some doors require us to lean back. At first glance, leaning in, it might seem crazy Will walking up on the stage, or Mary pouring perfume, expensive perfume at that, on Jesus' feet. But when we lean back, we can see the backstory of the pain of Jada's hair loss journey. When we take a step back, we can see Mary's deep devotion to Jesus. This was the same Mary that sat at Jesus' feet before. She had been listening to Jesus for some time. This was the same Mary that reached out to Jesus when her brother was sick. This was the same Mary that was upset with Jesus when her brother died. This was the same Mary that had witnessed a miracle in the resurrection of her brother Lazarus that was sitting, by the way, at the table now. And there's a backstory. There's always stuff that we were not CC'd on, you know? Stuff that we did not get the memo on. And my counsel would appreciate this. Stuff we did not get all the pages on. There is always a backstory that we simply do not know. This week I was talking to someone and in the middle of the conversation, they were like, my sister has stage four cancer. This person said, I, I just can't, I can't take any more bad news. You see, there are backstories and there are stuff happening and sometimes we know about it, but a lot of times we don't. We don't know the backstory to each other's lives, to what's going on with others. Ever had someone who gets you? Ever had someone that meant a lot to you? Ever had someone that touched your life in deep and profound ways? Ever had someone whose words touched some deep, dark, vulnerable space inside of you that you didn't even know was there, but once they spoke, you felt it? Ever had someone to understand the moment? Mary was deeply impacted by the gratitude of Jesus. Cory Booker puts his pulse on the backstory by saying this at Katanji's hearing over a week ago. You gotta hear how every black woman in America who's gotten anywhere has done. By being like Ginger Rogers said, I did everything Fred Astaire did, but backwards in heels. I'm not letting anybody in the Senate steal my joy. Don't worry, my sister. Don't worry, God has got you. How do I know that? Because you're here, and I know what it's taken for you to sit in that seat. Cory Booker took a step back. Instead of leaning into the madness, he says, you got four more, but you can breathe right now, sister. And he steps back. And you can tell that he pours expensive perfume because the tears just start coming down Katanji's face and she's trying to wipe them away. You know when you're trying to wipe away tears and you're trying not to cry and you're trying to hold it together? But the tears just keep coming down her face and as the camera zones in on other people in the room, you can see other people are also crying. And well, I had to lean back and probably some of you too sometime because Corey was preaching Sometimes we can't see the trees because we are too close up on a situation to see clearly. And so what is needed is to lean back, take some steps back so you can see the beauty before you. Mary acted out of her devotion and intimate relationship with Jesus. Take a step back. Her objective was to love up on Jesus. Take a step back. 
She didn't have words and eloquence take a step back, but she had perfume and a heart that had been won over long ago take a step back. And she wanted to do something more than nice take a step back. She wanted to show her appreciation take a step back. And when you want to show your appreciation for someone else, nothing is too much take a step back. She's not seeking anyone's approval. Take a step back. This man gets me. Take a step back. This man has rocked my world. Take a step back. And by the way, you are not there for my backstory. Take a step back. Mary is not bothering anyone else. Take a step back. Jesus says, leave her alone. Did you hear that? Just leave her alone. She's not bothering anyone. Get off her back. Hold up with the sexism. Stop pestering this woman. Last week, I was so touched. Yao gave me an invitation to his birthday party. Yao was sitting in the back of the church. Yao, wave your hand. Stand up. Wave your hand. Wave your hand for me. Yao gave me an invitation. I was so touched. And at first I was like, they're inviting me. <laughs> and I felt so touched that Yao invited me to his five and six year old birthday party. And he allowed me to hold him while he cried and spasmic out on sugar. And we played this game at Yao's birthday party called red light, green light, yellow light. You guys heard of that game? Never heard of it, Peter? So what happens is Peter, when it's green light, you can move. And when it's yellow light, you kind of slow down. And when it's red light, you stop. Now the kids were good at green light and they were so-so at yellow light, but they were not feeling the red light. And so it is with adults often, not feeling that red light. And yet Jesus says to the people around, to Judas, red light, stop. Red light, Jesus says, red light. And maybe even to us sometimes, sometimes Jesus is saying, red light, stop. Hold your opinions, hold your judgment, red light. But to the Marys of the world, he was giving a green light. For those who know whose love language is gifts, green light. For those who have the spirit of generosity beating behind their breastplate, green light. For those who know that whipped cream goes on top of a sundae with a cherry, green light. For those who know comfort comes after the rain, green light. For those who know how to respond in the moment with just the right words, green light. For those who know how to go all out and sometimes we'll say, it didn't take all that. Green light. Let Mary do what Mary is doing. And let those with a generous spirit do what they need to do. Let Mary anoint Jesus' feet with expensive perfume. Mary has chosen Jesus. Let her be. Lean back. Step back. Lean back. Until not only can you see the tree, but you can see the forest and you can see the beauty of God. Amen.